So, Sheffield Wednesday target in January has two bids already looking for him if we want him. So, uh, Maguire, in January, we wanted to get him in the club and we just couldn't get the deal done. He looked like he was all set to go to Blackburn Rovers and they knackered up the paperwork that much, that they sacked the secretary that did that for them. So they're not going to get him either. And it looks like now that there are two clubs in Europe, Belgium and Germany, looking for his services. Now, if you could like, share and subscribe to the channel, I'd much appreciate it. Like, the video uh, helped the algorithm sharing gets in front of people's faces and subscribing let me know you like the channel hit a notification bell to let you know when videos go live but Maguire had been offered fresh contract talks on Wednesday with uh, Orlando uh, with a very serious interest from like I said Belgium and Germany uh, two bids audience so if we do want to get him we're going to have to act fast now we are remained as a club we are looking at him uh, but we haven't put a firm bid or move on him for him. And it'll be interesting to see what happens there because we did look to want him in in January, but are we going to go in a different direction? Will we do it? Kind of thing. We don't know. Now, here's the thing. Uh, the Owls are understood, like you know, wanting to bring EK Ubbo back to the club after his goals helped spearhead the uh, ultimate survival of our campaign. The bid for Maguire from Wednesday came after Ugbo signed. So like I said, we made it very clear that we needed to bring in another forward. That is what we wanted because I had the thing where when we've done the, do we go after Ugbo or do we go after Maguire? We were going after both originally anyway. It wasn't a case of this one or this one. We were already going after both. So it'll be interesting to see if we re-go re -go after him. Because if there's a chance that we can get him back, fantastic. I say, go for it. He got a good bell so far. But yes, Ugbo is championship experience now. But with Germany and Belgian clubs looking at him, they do like to take American players over in those leagues. It'll be interesting to see if we quickly also put a bid in. Will Blackburn Rovers go back in for him? Uh, if I'm Duncan, I'm probably turning around to Blackburn Rovers. You tried to get me once, you ain't getting me again. You screwed it up first time. We could have had this done and dusted, but you knackered up the paperwork. What makes me think you're not going to do it again? I wouldn't be going back if I was him. Uh, if Blackburn Rovers seriously came back for him, I wouldn't be going back. I'd be like, nope, no, thank you, done. Um, so that's the thing for me there. I'm really interested to see where this goes. I would like to see us potentially go for him. I still think he's a very good player and his stats and stuff and how he gets on are good. But, it all depends on the money they would want, how much the contract would be. Does he, does he still want to come and play in England? There's a lot of things, but the fact that we didn't really messing about, messing about as much as Blackburn Rovers did. We had our thing. We had our stuff pretty much accepted by Orlando for everything that was going to happen. Uh, it didn't happen in the end because they got a better deal from Blackburn Rovers. It was a club thing, not a player thing. I think the players wanted the one where it depends on how much money the club got is where he went. And the agent changed it. The deal got redone. They managed to do it with the sale of Adam Walton. Uh, they might be might have to do that again with selling Sammy uh, Modic. It's going to be interesting to see what Blackburn Rovers do and if they go back in for him. Personally, I'd be interested to see if we did. But if there is two other clubs going into it, you will have to act very fast indeed. But this is the time of year where these kind of deals either go really quickly or they peter out. Look, it started well so far in MLS. And I know some people will be like, MLS is completely different to the championship. But he looks like a talent you could use well. And I think it's a case of... Danny was already looking at him and wanted him in January, and it was somebody on the list of people we're going for. It's not like we've got to go do any more research on him or any more analysing on him. We've already done all that. All the stats are the same from when he was looking last time. Like I said, he started well so far in MLS with four goals in nine games, which he 
not by ratio when you think about nine, nine, he's had nine appearances and got four goals. That's actually pretty damn decent. And that's the kind of person you want to bring in to a uh, squad that was lacking goals last season. So we'll see how we can get on with it all. And hopefully, very shortly, it gets done quicker than it did with uh, Blackburn Rovers. And and again, at bet anything that happened when they related news-wise in terms of transfers, I think everything's going to go really quickly this summer. When a deal gets done or when it's about to get done, I think it's going to get really like that. So let's see what happens. But Duncan Maguire could be coming in, but if Wednesday want him, they're going to have to act fast. 